Welcome, uh, Analea. Uh, uh, Angelia. Angelia. <laughs> or Angel's Angel. Angel. Okay. So, Angel, can you tell us more about yourself first, then the business? Okay. Hello, everyone. Uh, this actually Kokomo uh, brand that we actually, uh, I'm the co-founder of this uh, company. So, I would want to uh, introduce what's the meaning of Kokomo. Oh, yeah. So, uh, Kokomo is actually a derived name from Coco, which is cacao, and uh -huh. Mo is actually a word for uh, a Tagalog, yeah. it's you. Mm -hmm. So basically, it's a uh, cacao for you. Oh, okay. So that's Kokomo. Yeah. So actually, this is a pandemic uh, baby. <laughs> My pandemic baby uh, creations. So before, I was a uh, chocolatier. Uh, I was actually uh, a pastry chef before already, so oh, okay. I have a, since I love kitchen, you know, I, I really love to do some some artisanal product. Mm -hmm. So this pandemic brought us a reali realization like I want to go back to something I love, which is kitchen. Yeah, so, because during the pandemic, before everything we have was no closed. nothing to do. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, so this is where you thought about it. Exactly. So when I came home from the vow, so uh, my origin actually, my dad is from the vow, uh -huh. and my mom is from Pangasinan. So I am full blooded cacao since birth. So my family are all cacao growers in the vow. Mm -hmm. So and also my grandfather is used to be my best teacher. So he's actually uh, behind. Of teaching me how to make our traditional tableya from toasting the beans uh -huh. and from uh, pagbabalat. So, ako yung tagabalat ng lolo. Yeah, kasi, I mean, we, we still have a lot to grow. It's a lot. It's, it's a lot to grow. It's not about to grow. Actually, we have enough cacao uh -huh. trees. It's uh -huh. just that people doesn't know how to process. That's kasi the traditional with, with the tableya only. The tableya. Uh -huh. And not only that, you know, like the one I am helping in Palawan community in Puerto Princesa. So I am actually working with the DOST in Palawan, helping helping this community in Puerto Princesa. Because they were left behind by the big company. So they're fully grown cacao. Yeah. So like they the, the, the farmers are all like sobrang disappointed and some of them they cut the trees kasi hindi nila mapakinabangan. So kaya useless yung it's useless because hindi naman nila nabebenta yung mga crops. So, for us is, I do believe, you know, we have a lot of cacao, especially in Podelero that makes it so special for me kasi we still have this uh, old ancestral trees that has been grown from different area. So, I found Natoni in Mountain Province yeah, yeah, yeah. through uh, Mr. Albert Patog. He's actually the one taking care of the farm. So, this the future. I mean, what are we looking at? Yeah. What's the portion? Actually, the good thing about about cacao is we can actually generate maraming maraming uh, livelihood jobs sa mga tao sa community. Kasi for cacao itself, actually, marami tayong products na pwedeng magawa. Like I, I was telling you a while ago, like cacao, my dad is actually producing cacao vinegar. Oh, it's okay. very floral and I love it. The, the, the smell, the smell, so bravo! And you can make cacao juice is another product. Or we, or my classmate from Thailand, actually, they actually make uh, they call cacao jam. But if you do from the pulp, if you do cacao vinegar, you could do, do cacao wine. Yes, sir. We some of my classmates actually making a cacao wine also. Oh. So, ang dami talagang product ang pwedeng magawa, hindi lang actually so, hindi chocolate. Hindi tablet yan. Yeah. <laughs> For me, I hope that I'm encouraging people, the farmers or whoever is in a, in a tablet making to, to explore outside. Kasi they will see how far are they from us. So, I mean, our tablet in the US has been centuries na rin. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's, it's from Mexican, ano pa yeah. talaga. And we Yeah, exactly. Oh. Actually, the, the thing is about the world is they only knew chocolate as the sweet end product of cacao. But actually, cacao has been forgotten in the world. The word cacao is forgotten. They only knew chocolate, the sweet side. 
but actually the dark side, the purest form of cacao has been forgotten. So actually, that's one of my advocacy that I created. Like, I did not actually release any of the, the sweet side yet. But uh, for the Caldelera people, uh, I'm really encouraging you to plant cacao. Because, you know, I give you an assurance that I am a big buyer and I'm a big player of cacao. And also, like, sa mga medyo hesitant pa, how to start up to do the planting, you can just send me a message in our page po. Kasi, you know, I can help everything from the planting po. You know, I don't charge guys. So, whatever I know, I will share it with you po. So, and also guys, you know, for the meantime, Cordillera, as I said, has no enough cacao yet. Mas maganda, we push into a one goal to, to plant muna, you know. So, also, I'm giving them opportunity who also in, interested to do an online selling for the product. I give them a very special price. So, yung mga gustong mga sujante o mga, mga mother na hindi maka, makaalis ng bahay. So, I give them some product that they can sell. You know, my, my, my product is very local affordable, guys. So... Whoever who would want to be interested, my, my studio is very open for you. I give free tasting, oh, guys. Yeah. I, be, I give can, free can, tasting. Can you, can, you give, uh, can you tell them where your address is? So, Kakao Studio is located sa my uh, Mega Tower 4. So, uh, Mega Tower 4 dito is... Dito sa may Salug Mitra. Yeah, sa likod ng post office. Yes, huh? and tapat ng Ocean Land. So, I am ah. actually beside bon, Bonti. Hmm. So, makikita siya along harap ng Mega Tower for yung Kakao Studio. Near UB Elementary. Yes po yun. Along, oh. yes po. Halos tabi na po niya. So, anyone who would want to come and visit, you are very welcome. And I give a lot of tasting, guys.